Mongolian effort. Well, that brings us neatly to the men's team final. And what a treat we've got in store for you. It couldn't have been uh, better written because the Japanese will face the Russians uh, in the final. So there's a chance here for a gold medal for the Russian men. And as far as I remember, we haven't had one yet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is have a quick rundown of the uh, possibility. Well, there's terrific excitement in here. Let's have a look at the Japanese men's team then. At 66 kilos, Ebenuma Masashi. At 73 kilos, Ono Shoei. At 81 kilos, Nagase Takonori. At 90 kilos, Baker Mashu. And at plus 90 kilos, Shichinue Ryo. So that's a nice lineup there for Japan. The Russians will field Kamal Khan Magomedov at 66 kilos, Denis Iyatsev at under 73, Murat Kabachirov at under 81, Magomedov Magomedov at under 90, and it'll be Aslan Kambiev at plus 90. Well, you've got the uh, world bronze medalist Kamal Khan, Mag Mag Khan Magomedov coming up against the world champion. You've got the former world champion Ono Shoei taking on Denis Yatsev, and then two relatively well-matched fighters, and then the young talent Baker Mashu at 90 kilos to take on Magomedov. That'll be interesting. And the Russians have decided to try Kambiev, who hasn't taken part yet, against Shichinue, who's really tested. I think it's a big risk, and I'd probably favor the Japanese with that kind of lineup. Anyway, let's see what our commentary team of Annette Byrne and David McFall have got to make of, uh, make of all of this. Back to the studio. Thank you, Sheldon. Excellent analysis, Sheldon. Yeah. And it couldn't be a better end for that competition here in Jayabe. Russia against Japan. That's right, that's right. With some special guests in the house who would really appreciate this. Yes. I, I really think looking at the lineup, the core, the thing that's going to, unless we have a big upset, I'm looking, the meat is going to be the eight, under 81 and the under 90 matches. Yeah. Because I think Sheldon's right that uh, Shichinoi has an edge uh, on Kambiev. Um, and I also like Abi Numa in the first match. But those three matches in the middle, particularly under 81 and particularly under 90, that's gonna that's gonna tell who wins and who goes home with the silver. There's Maris Wieser, the International Jiu Jitsu Federation, and Vladimir Putin. Yes. Keep a special eye on it on this final. As we said, couldn't ask for a better ending. The Japanese men come out in white. Yeah. The Russians come out in blue. Competition if this comes down to the heavyweights again. Chichinoe has another shot. Could say in the dungeon of deep in the heart of Russia. Yes, deep in the heart of Russia. Of the lion, yes. <laughs> the tiger, the tiger, yes, we're, we're the in the tiger. tiger's den here. <laughs> and here comes Ebi Numa. Now, we were talking about certain athletes being tired or beat up. Well, Ebi Numa's worked out here all day and, of course, went through his run to his title. Yeah, let's see if he's still the energizer bunny that we've seen all day. And he goes in for a big Ochi. Ebi Numa right away goes on the attack. A 
Couple of hip turns in there from both of them. Yeah. I think I'm gonna look for a hip there for a second. Oh. Luckily, they gave no nothing. It was Luckily. the attack from Kam Kamal Karmogamedov. He started, but I think in the end... Maybe no one seemed to control him on the landing here. I guess he didn't show yeah. it. And a good heads up going but initially for Yoko Shiho. Yeah. And also the arm there. Ebi Numa holding his arm. Maybe he got jammed up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Last year in the finals at Rio, he got his arms jammed up twice. There were a couple of Makikomi attempts there by uh, the Kazakhstani athlete. I, the name escapes me at the moment, but they were really low. Maybe he was a warrior. Looking for Dayashi Barai there. Yeah, and puts him under pressure for stepping out. Mm, come on. I didn't see any attack there. Yeah. And that's what it is. The first penalty goes to Khan Magomedov. Yep. And he immediately goes to the race. Goes for Ebi Numa, Ebi Numa. Whoa! Incredible! <laughs> and Putin enjoys that one. Yes. Khan Magomedov. That was great. That was huge. Yes. Right away puts the Javis back to the wall. Bruin exchange. First, I thought, please hold him because it could be that they only give uh, Vatsaari to it, but you know. He kept with it the entire time. Yes, all the emotions came out there. <laughs> we bet the world champion. First person to beat Emi Nuba the whole week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Talk about rising to the occasion. Excellent, yeah. Well, I thought was a block for the Japanese. There we go. Ibinuma initially looked like he could cartwheel out of it. But yep. Kam Megnamov yep. kept with it all the way. Yep. And he bridged a little bit, the Japanese. So, yeah. Well, he bridged after the landing. I don't yeah. know if that was a bridge yeah. to prevent the Not throw. Really. I think it was to prevent the Os Osai Komi, which yes. I th he thought was coming. Wow. Ono Shohei. The first time didn't come through. The second time he came through by Shido. And now against Iarchev, it really looks like he has to come through. former world champion. Lost his pool final against the Korean. That's right, and lovely. Dayashi mm -hmm. Brai by the Korean. Mm -hmm. But his teammate, Nakia Riki, came through to get the goal for Japan. So a little surprised with this pick. I thought they would go with Nakia Riki. Yeah. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how Ono pans out. Oh, Chimata and Ono gets a Chimate, there. and he had him in Tate Shiho. Kind of lost it there. He still has got a mm -hmm. good position. He's got to work on this arm. He's got to stabilize the arm and then work to get the leg out. But a Waza Adi for the Uchimata. And there we go. Now he's going to go for the oh, yeah. Udegarami. Good defense there from the Russian. That's right. Excellent defense for the Russian. Took his right knee. Gonna jam that up there. And he wants to counter this Uchimata attack at the beginning, but couldn't. The control was too much from the Japanese at the at the upper body. Ono had a good, good look at Tate Shiho, but yeah. 
He had the legs out and sprawled around uh, Yaratyachev and then uh, couldn't control the upper body. So up by Waza Adi now. Mm -hmm. Ono has to close the deal. To give uh, Nagase and Baker oh. a chance. A good defense by Ono. That was a good chance there. Fantastic chance by the, by the Russian. Still plenty of time on the clock. Mm -hmm. Ono's got to do a little bit more work if he's going to live up to his billing here. Ono was looking for Osoto. Yep. The leg kind of went wildly outside. Yartichev looking for some Ashiwaza here. Counter. A counter, and that's probably going to score Yuko. Yeah. There we go. Ono goes for another Uchimata and gets countered. Yeah, I, I, I can't see the crowd wants more than Yuko and that well that was not more than Yuko. Yarchev right away goes after yes. Ono. He smells blood. Ono goes the other way, slips out. This one is turning into a dogfight. Yeah. I think both really realize that this could be one of the pivotal matches. Yarchev would like to get this over with. Called and the Osaka oh, gets turned off. Yeah, he got But now the Russian leads by Yuko. <laughs> and this place is humming like a beehive. Looking there for the arm lock, maybe. Yeah. Ono's not gonna. Uh, I don't think Ono's gonna tap. Ah, oh, no. Ono's not gonna tap. But the time is just ticking away here. Uh -huh. So now we have 50 seconds left. Oh no, just didn't have the Kazushi. He, he was too far out. His arms were too ex Exten extended. Yeah. And I wonder why, why he couldn't hold him, fix him, because he had a perfect position there for Yoko Shiogatami. Well, now it's just a Yuko separating these two. And Yerchev can afford a few penalties. He's not, he's not yes. worried at all with that kind of time. So Ono's got to blast out of the blocks and hope that he can get a piece of the Russian. Yeah, that was a poor one. That's going to get one penalty and with 20 seconds left three more are not going to come Ono's got to pursue and pray so Ono Shohei goes down. The Europeans are celebrating. Yes. It's one win away. It's 2-0. Oh. But this means Nagasa and Baker have to win. And if that's the situation, then Shichino could close it. But now there's absolute must wins. Nagase did very well against Chirshkavili of Georgia.
And so now the Russians go up two to zero against the Japanese in the finals of the men's team competition at the 2014 World Judo Championships. So it's do or die for Nagase. Habachov, he can smell it, he can taste it. It's yes. there. The gold medal is there for him to take. If he throws Nagase for Ipon, this place is just gonna oh, explode. Yes. Oh, yes. Nagase does better when he has no pressure on him. Most people do. But yeah. we saw in the individuals, he can get cautious when the pressure is on. Yeah. A bit tentative. trying to get that deep grip with his right hand. That was not a very good look there at Sanaga for Nagase. He just flips his leg up there. We're gonna attempt there because he's on the edge. Yep. Then a little bit of a Hizaguruma look. These appear to be more feints than real attacks. There's not a lot. He's not putting everything in there. We saw some good Uchimata from him earlier. Mm -hmm. Nagase, a few pokes, the leg. Well, it's up to Kavashirov. One-sided grip or cross grip there. I have to be careful of giving the Russians a deep grip. Mm -hmm. Uchigari attempt there, Uchimata then. Ken Ken. Nagase had the leg in there, but it wasn't really deep. Mm -hmm. Got to get, he's got to Ken Ken in a circle yeah. instead of a straight line. Yeah. No score yet. Sayonage once, Sayonage twice. No, you must do now something. Yes, this is this is a problem. Yeah. And that's going to look like a false attack, perhaps. That's going to get a penalty. Perhaps not. Nagase seems to have the grip he wants, her, and that gets pulled off, torn off by the Russian. Nagase looks, he had a good look there at Osoto. Yeah. yeah. Russian was going backward and didn't didn't have his own grip. Opened up a little bit in his body posture. Guys, yeah, look there at Uchimata. Yeah. Thought better of it. Look quick, quicker than before. Yeah, he kind of aborted halfway, but. Still no score yet. Wanting down to one minute left in the match. Quite simple. 
Russia wins, Russia takes the gold medal. Russia loses, Japan has a chance. Yeah. Got to watch out there. Nothing. No call. Yeah. 33 seconds left. Oh, so cool. Oh. Nagase did a good job of weaseling his way out of that one. And what a defense there from the Japanese. Got the arm out there. Everybody would have smashed yes. into the mat. Now, this is a true, you kids don't try that at home. Just do your ukemi. Yeah, because exactly. Because that's the way people break their arm. Absolutely. Or destroy their elbow. Yeah. Luckily. But look at this grip right now. Go into My blue. Yeah, you must be careful. Oh, golden score. Going into golden score. Ooh. Pressure increases yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Nagase looks a little bit better condition-wise. Japanese looking on, concerned. Chigari for Nagase, and he keeps the Japanese in yeah. this contest. And he keeps it interesting. Absolutely. <laughs> Very interesting. Interesting, and also a little bit unexpected, because before, Kapashirov did a good job, and for me, I think Nagase he, looked tired. I think he's tired. I think that's what happened. He wasn't the same yeah. as he was in the first two minutes. May he fought, okay, one last attack, and I got it. And so now... The Japanese are in it, but their hopes fall on the shoulders of the young Baker Matthew. And Baker Matthew is going to be up against the very experienced. Yes, Magomed Magomedov. <laughs> At this level of international competition, you've got to give the Russian experience, but. Matthew Baker has been through a lot of team championships through high school and university and that. He's, I'm sure he's faced these kind of situations before, just not on such a big stage. And what we haven't seen in the individuals, which I hope we can see, is his Ochigari. He really didn't pull the trigger in the individual competition. He's got to be careful stepping out. Yeah. One of his bad habits is getting behind early on penalties. And Onoa Kose is like, calm down, relax. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it together. <laughs> Toshi attempt. He's got to watch out. Mm -hmm. Magoff gets that belt grip. Still waiting for the first real attack for Baker. And he's, see, Manov is crafty. He's trying to move him off the edge of the tatami. Yep. Force a penalty. Baker got a little foot sweep there. But he picks up the penalty. Can't let Magomedov control this pace like this. He's got to start attacking. Oh. Don't push the Japanese too much. And a Yuko, and now he's got him now in yeah. Uroke Sagatame. Yeah. This is a good look for Matthew Baker. That looks pretty solid. Madimedov is working hard here. All right, so now it's already Yuko's are earned. Clock is burning up. Madimedov is desperately trying to get out. It looks solid for yeah. Matthew Baker. Yeah. And Matthew Baker comes through in the clutch. Unbelievable for the 20 year old. Yes. And 
and so it comes down to Shichinoe versus Kambiev. So the decision will be in the last contest. Unbelievable. Ebi Numa loses the first one. Ono loses. <laughs> then Nagase and Baker come back for Japan. Yeah. And now it's up to the heavyweights. Well, we saw how well Master Baker responded to the pressure. Now let's see if Shichuhei can do the same. And Chichoe almost draws a Sasai Sobiashi. Both fighters settling in. You know, I had another, another look, good look here. He's got Kambiav working. He drops down. Look for an Ouchi there for a second. Yep. Kambiav gets a deep grip, gets the belt. Shijinoe gets knocked for the penalty there. He's got to he's got to stay upright. Can't let Gambia get that bell grip. And he goes for Ochi. Ooh. Sort of falls off to the side. Couldn't be able to drive through. That was a better look from that angle there. Yeah. Columbia did a good job dropping the knee to prevent that turn. CJ drops in. Looking for a low Harai Goshi or perhaps a Tanya Toshi there. Yep. See they're going to score that. I think it was the attack from the Japanese. I think so too, and he sort of just and fell. I think Look at Yamashita Yasuhiro you know, yes. looking down, amused, looking up the, at yeah. the top there. But I think the Russian just couldn't use that, that attack from the Japanese. Well, he's got the belt again. Shichinohe has got a, he did a good job of taking care of, let's see if maybe he can deal with some groundwork here. Yeah. Let Kambiev loose. Oh, that looked for me, <laughs> to be honest, like a counter. Could have been a Yuko counter. Yeah. Yeah. These exchanges is the wait for the referee's call. You could cut the tension with a knife. Chichoe gets a good look there. That should be go for Yuko. Wazadi. Yeah. And that is definitely put a bit of a temper on the crowd. Crowd noise. Murmur throughout the stadium. It's a better grip now for the Russian, but he must Kambiev do something. Kambiev is a very, very good grip here. He had a look with Shichinohe. Deep grip there on the back, maybe good enough for the Sumigaeshi. Yep, but Chichoe was able to break out of that. Yeah. 
Less than two minutes now. Again, with the belt grip, was not able to throw Shichino over the top. Mm -hmm. Shichino hey, rolls in, tries from Nawaza. He almost gets the foot out. And now it appeared Tate Shiho. Oh, that was a pure defense, I must say, that because he let the leg out. He let the leg out. He had the leg in. Yes. And just like Mashu Baker, it would look mm -hmm. that Shichinoe is going to ride this one all the way to Ippon. Yeah. So an amazing performance there <laughs> in the meat of the lineup for the Japanese, coming back after being down two with what we thought would be a lock with Ebi Numa. And we knew Shichinohe had the, had the advantage, but it really was Nagase and Baker yeah. who made the difference today. I, an unbelievable job by Baker. A young kid, and he came through in the clutch. Yeah. And let's take a look. Let's uh, talk to Sheldon. He's on the couch. Get his impressions. Well, what an incredible, incredible uh, final that was. I, I don't think anyone would have thought that Eben Uma and Ono would go down to Kamal Khan Medov and uh, Magomedov and Denis Iyatsev. And all of a sudden, the Japanese were looking down the barrel of a gun. 2 0 down. And then Nagase, who hadn't really been firing at all, he comes up with uh, the, the, the win. But the really big thing was that they needed Baker Mashu, they needed Baker Mashu to take that contest, and he did. Now, he's only a youngster, and he, he had to come up with a really special uh, performance against Magomed Magomedov, and he did. That tied it up, and it gave the chance to Shichinoe Rio to take it for the Japanese. Now, Kambiev gave him a bit of a run for his money. There were a few moments there when it was touch and go, but he, he, he began to gas, he began to run out of steam, and eventually Shichinoe caught up with him. And as you saw, he came up with the, uh, the Osai Kami for the win. That was a final worthy of a world championships. It had everything in there, terrific drama, and of course, it was here in Russia. The Russian team was here. It had the, you know, President Vladimir Putin, you know, in there w watching and enjoying it. You could see that he was taken up with it, and that was a terrific final. I, I think that will go down in many people's memories as one of the best team finals ever. What a, what a great bit of entertainment that was. Now, we're gonna come to the contest. A little bit of, um, a few talking points in there. We'll brush over a few of them because we want to look to the, 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 the good bit, which was the quality finish from um, Kamal Khan Magomedov. We'll leave out what happened before. We'll just look at a moment at the finish, and it was a good one. You know, he, he finished off there, there, there well. It was Ono, just not there, not there. Somebody wrote to me earlier on, I can't remember who it was, but thanks very much for your message, and, and you're absolutely right. It just seemed to be getting away from him the whole day i mean he won the one match by shido but he didn't look good in his opening match he lost i would have gone with nakia ricky but obviously the in the end result was that uh you know i like guided his team to this gold medal finish well before we get there nagase who we may not have spoken about in the most complimentary of terms he came up with the absolute must-win contest and a really good one it was against a very tough opponent in Murat Kabachirov. But for me, if I, if I was gonna circle out one, it was Baker Mashu, the, young, the, the, the youngster, stepping up and really gutsy performance against Magomed Magomedov um, to um, tie things up and give Shichinoe the chance to bring it home for the Japanese. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny with Nagase, he, in a, in a sense, was the linchpin because he beat Chirshkavili to get the Japanese to this point. And he didn't look very good in the individuals, so he's one of those guys who may step up in the teams. Um, and Baker, I had heard things about maybe he was a bit nervous in the individuals, this first really, really huge competition. Well, he definitely locked it down in the finals. The well, funny thing is we never saw the big old Chigati that we've seen all year from him. At the break, we were, David and I were walking around and we bumped into Baker Mashu and we said, hey, you know, do you know who's fighting in the team? And he just went, secret. <laughs> secret. <laughs> because 
He was. <laughs> right, let's go down our stairs to the awarding ceremony for the men's teams. Well, the awarding ceremony in a team event always takes a while because you've got so many. So we've got three people handing out uh, medals. There's Baker right there getting his. Cardi Rotenberg is handing out the medals for the gold medal winning Japanese team. The Georgians are stepping forward. Lasha Shabdashruashvili. Look at that yeah. smile on Baker. Yeah, he's broad. Ebenuma Masashi, Nakaya Riki. A little bit of fist bumping there from Baker Mashu as he smiles. And now a big man who finished it off for the Japanese. Shichino Ryo, Ryu. Dennis Yatsev is there. Kamikawa gives a pat on the shoulder to Shichino Hei. Nice job. And that was... Uh, Nishiyama Daiki as well. Zirazudin Magomedov, who Havachirov took over from. Bismoltanov in the background there as well. He stepped up for one for one fight. Oh no, having a look at the gold medal, just checking the quality. Looks <laughs> like Takeichi there. We didn't see yeah, him. Takeichi fight. Kengo, no, not in the team event. Handing out the Tigers now, Papinashvili with the trophy. He's gonna, is Lipatiliani not gonna take it this time? <laughs> he doesn't take the small ones. Only the big cups. Matthew yeah. Baker. He's up there, isn't he? He's right in there. Kamikawa Daiki as well, with a huge smile on his face. Alim Gadanov gets a, a tap there. Kamal Khan Magomedov right at the end of, of that group. And the they, they recognize that Baker was the clutch guy. Yeah, the he, youngest he, guy out yeah. there. They were begging him just to do it. Just give us a chance, just give us a chance. And then he did. That was Nagase, the um, OG Gari that brought Kavachirov down. There's Baker and then beautiful that's follow up there in the Uragesa Katame. Yeah, the Maki Komi, first of all, in you know, celebrations like all around, yeah. It's like a real schoolmaster, isn't he, with a little tap on the head there, celebrations from Baker. There he is. Job done. He's going to be on the front of a few magazines, is Baker, I think. He has been before. And now, the national anthem of Japan. Well, we just need to hang on for a second whilst we finish the presentation. Slight miscalculation in the timing there. Then get those flowers out quickly. Get that done, yeah. Poor old Cardi Rotenberg being asked to do about two or three jobs. As you said, there's quite a few people I got to take care of. Took a little bit longer than, than we'd originally planned. We're ready for the anthem now.
confirmation of the result bronze medals for Georgia and Germany Russia took the silver but the gold goes to Japan I think we neglected to mention with the women that the German women also took a bronze yeah, medal yeah good results for the German and men there. and women now if you'd asked at the beginning of the competition what what would be a good result for the Russian team they would have wanted a, a gold medal at some stage but the number of medals that they've had and the fact that they were in the final of the team event and in it right to the last fight I think is gonna make for the impression of a very successful championship not just successful they, they, it's not something to say well you know I'm satisfied with that no this was a very successful championships for the Russian um, organizers the fighters and the, the, the team in general because they, they, they were in the final the men were in at the close with a shot and I think the impression from people when they go away is yeah I'll, um, I'll settle for that. Well, we can't forget that the Russians had some key members of the team like Isayev who were injured. So they're not coming in with their, their, their full guns. Or Galstian. That's well, right. Well, mind you, he's, he's in the weight below, although I have heard a rumor that he may be on his way up. <laughs> okay. Uh, but in any case, you know, for the Russians, of course you're at home and you want to do really well. You haven't had a world championships for years. But Gamba is always going to be looking for that four-year cycle, and he's looking toward Rio. Right, well, we've got...